We're going to turn now uh, to Amy once again, and Amy, you have a tough one. It is. This is a really sad story, and it's one of the world's greatest daredevils we're talking about. He was killed this week while skydiving in a wingsuit. Mark Sutton was famous for parachuting into the opening ceremonies of the 2012 London Olympic Games. He was dressed, if you might remember, as James Bond. The 42-year-old was one of the best in the world, and he thrilled so many with his fantastic jumps. The entire world was captivated when he leapt from a helicopter dressed as 007 during the Olympic opening ceremonies in London last year. The most memorable entrance. When he wasn't playing Bond's stunt double, Mark Sutton preferred a different kind of suit. Three, two, one. See ya. One that left his adrenaline shaken and probably stirred. Seen here in these extreme videos posted on his YouTube channel, Sutton was cheered as one of the world's best wingsuit pilots, darting through canyons and skimming treetops at speeds up to 150 miles per hour, mere inches from the ground. The 42-year-old former military officer was known to jump with camera in hand or on head, hoping to give the world a glimpse of what it's like to fly free like a bird, no motor, just pure grit. It's just amazing. His quest for adventure took him from Angel Falls in Venezuela. How beautiful is this? To the iconic Eiger mushroom in Switzerland, a hot spot for birdmen, if, of course, they can make the climb. A couple of hours hike, and uh, what an incredible view. Friends say Sutton was brave in situations most of us would find terrifying. So when his life suddenly ended on Wednesday during a jump in the Swiss Alps, his jumping buddies, unfazed, decided to do what Sutton would do, just keep flying. And Danny Boyle, the director of the Olympics, is leading tributes to him today. And obviously, our hearts go out to him and his family, to those who loved him. Yeah. And, and, and we're certainly inspired by him. That's a tough one. Yeah, Thanks for that. Thanks, Ian.